Howdy folks, I am here to do what is honestly going to be the quickest book versus movie video today and that is of course for My Neighbour Totoro, the Studio Ghibli movie, um, the novelisation, it came after the movie so we're going to start with the movie. So here is the synopsis, while their mother recovers from an illness, Satsuki and her little sister May um, get away from it all in an idyllic rural retreat. Far from the bustle of the city, they discover a mysterious place of spirits and magic and the friendship of the Totoro woodland creatures. Conceived as a family film devoid of conflict and suffused with the carefree pleasures of the summertime, My Neighbour Totoro sees Hayao Miyazaki create a parable of friendship and imagination populated with unforgettable characters. A universal classic for all generations, My Neighbour Totoro shows Japanese animation's famous Studio Ghibli at its very best and is an elegy to two ever fading miracles, the fairy tale world of childhood and the disappearing countryside. Isn't that beautiful? And it really does do just that. So for the movie, which is one that I have loved for a long time, I've watched this quite a few times, I've lost count now, um, I give a five stars. Honestly, as a film, it is so super wholesome. As you see from the back there, um, the themes and topics that it goes through, it just really does capture the essence of the beauty. Like, you know, the disappearing countryside, the fairy tale, the childhood, everything, the wonder beautifully is captured here it was also such a lovely experience showing this to my partner um it was his first time watching it and he really enjoyed it, it seemed that he was quite um enchanted by the whole experience so it was really fun watching him watch it as well you know what i mean um i actually remember they put it on randomly in um, one of my English classes I think, I'm pretty sure it was this film and no one else knew what my neighbour Totoro was except for my English teacher who was super cool and I was like grinning, like enjoying my whole time, looking around you know seeing if my class was enjoying it and everyone liked it from what I could remember but nobody knew what it was and I was just there like saying the lines and singing along they probably thought shut up Jen but oh my god what an experience to feel everybody for the first time watching it and like to be there as they enjoyed it for the first time it was so good and that's how i felt watching my partner watch it this evening um so yeah it is it's quaint it's magical it's kind of like a slow meandering storyline but it does have the whimsical and the enchanting storyline as well of the totoro characters and you know the nature spirits of the forest it also showcases um sisterhood between satsuke and may um the kind of frustrations they have there um but also the ever-growing love that they have together as well um as well as just general childhood growing up um moving to a complete different lifestyle that the hustle and bustle of the city i think they were from tokyo and they moved into um the more rural countryside area to be closer to their mom and their hospital that their mom is um living at, at the moment and also girlhood and as i say growing up and kind of being in this new environment and figuring things out it was just absolutely beautifully done um and again Studio Ghibli always does this amazing family dynamic. They really just hone the family so well um, and that characteristic, I don't know, it almost feels like it's, it's such a stable, strong theme um, and it's always something I look out for, how they kind of navigate their family. It just feels so traditional, I just, I just love it. Um, as well as the stunning illustrations that are very Ghibli-esque. Um, and again they just do it so well so yeah for the movie my neighbor totoro five out of five stars if you haven't seen any studio ghibli this is one of the first to try because it will it will set you up for what to expect um generally from the sort of stuff that they create and it's a lovely time all around so yeah love this one five out of five stars let's quickly get on to the book which isn't going to take too long but honestly uh with the book much of the same thing i also did a reading vlog if you're interested in kind of seeing a little bit more in depth thoughts and opinions as i was reading it um so as i say we are kind of reading this as a novelization so they made the book based on the movie sugiko kubo is the author that wrote it out um 
but the story and art is by Hayao Miyazaki so it was the movie first um so for this again five out of five stars much the same it is pretty much the essence of the movie it does give a little bit more detail um for example a little bit more on like the cat bus and thoughts and feelings that um Sasuke and May might have had during that time there's also some really gorgeous illustrations they're kind of like bluey grey green um sketches let's see if i find another one um just dotted throughout here and there they're really beautiful but yeah this was such a delight just matches the energy of the movie perfectly honestly it just encompassed that um element of the movie perfectly i feel and yeah it just instantly made me want to watch it again so even now after watching it just now i want to put it on again so it's one of those vibes it's a pleasant surprise to see that it was dotted with the illustrations and i do love how they were drawn with that sort of blue gray tone and the sketchiness of it it felt like what well, probably was kind of thoughts and um concepts for the movie and stuff so i did enjoy that inclusion of it i'm really looking into getting a copy of the art of studio ghibli in general but especially my neighbor totoro i've seen one i think in waterstones and i'd love to get one of those um but anyway yeah you can tell that it was written after the movie but i don't think it's a bad thing it just it works you can picture scene by scene everything that happens in the movie but you're just reading it it's just a different format um so yeah both of these do it perfectly i think the book definitely gives you a little bit more information a little bit more thoughts of what the girls might be thinking but you don't have to go for both i would say the movie you're going to get a lot from the movie anyway so definitely i would recommend the movie more over the book but they are pretty much the same thing um it's just this is the original source and for me it's nostalgic and I love it. So that is my thoughts and feelings on My Neighbor Totoro and also what I'd recommend in regards to whether you should check out the movie or the book or both. Let me know if you've ever read or watched My Neighbor Totoro, what you thought about it and I'll catch you in another video soon. Bye!